All right, so here are a few things you need to know before using this anaerobic chamber. One very important thing is if you have any questions, if you are in doubt about anything, we always keep the manual here in this middle drawer. So if you have questions about anything, you can come here. There is a quick uh, guide there that you can use. You can also download that from Sheldon website. And if you're still in doubt about anything, do not hesitate to call me. We keep my, my phone here uh, on the side. So it's five, uh, four five zero five zero one six eight two six. You can call me at any time. This is my cell phone. Do not hesitate to 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 ask any questions that you might have. All right. Now we're gonna see how to place the samples inside of the chamber. What you will see is that this has this chamber has what they call a airlock, which is basically a small room before you go into the chamber. Uh, so you're gonna place your samples here first. And this airlock, it has two doors, one to the outside and one to the inside. Okay, and each door has a lock. And the, the system will not work if the, both locks are not uh, securely locked. So what it does is basically gradually takes all the air uh, that is inside of this airlock and replaces with with the, the the anaerobic gas okay in our case we have the nitrogen so it's cheaper it's gonna use nitrogen instead of um, gas mixture okay and once all the air has been replaced by nitrogen now it's gonna beep uh, 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 the little light's gonna beep there and you are it's gonna release this lock here and you can open and go in okay now so you can use our racks here to place your your plates or your own um, just put it there inside lock the door and now you're gonna press the the button um, here airlock anaerobic okay you're just gonna hit once and this is gonna start three or four cycles in each is gonna uh, take the, the air out uh, to a pressure of minus 15 millimeters of mercury and replace that with nitrogen and it's gonna repeat that three or four times and this should take about one minute if for some reason you need to interrupt the airlock cycle, you just have to hit again the button and hold for two seconds and this should stop the, the, the cycles. And let's say you, you forgot to put a sample or you realize you had the wrong samples, you can interrupt that. Another detail is if you are working with tubes, like uh, falcon tubes or any kind of tubes, uh, Normally, if you have prepared those outside of the chamber, they are filled with air containing oxygen here, right? So if you bring them inside and open them, what's going to do is to, is to increase a lot the, the tension of oxygen inside. And this needs to be captured by the cartridge and um, <clears throat> this will consume more. Uh, gas mixture and also is going to it potentially can affect other uh, studies in there so what we normally recommend and if if it's possible if you cannot contaminate your sample um, th that's fine so what we normally do we just lose open keep the cap on but we we, we keep it loose so when the cycle when the airlock cycles start it's also going to replace the air <clears throat> inside of your tube. Finally, if you don't have to use the airlock, it's even better. Let's say you are working with small Eppendorf tubes and they fit in your hand and so you don't have to put place them there to bring them in. You can just hold them in your hand and uh, use the, the sleeve, the glove system 
to go in holding the there in your hands of course if you're able to open the 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 door holding them or you can just place them aside and open the door and then you take them so this is gonna save a lot of gas mixture during this procedure what you can do is to start getting into the the chamber so you're gonna wear the the sleeves here and to do that the first thing is you need to be with bare skin to get in contact here with those sleeves because if there is uh, fabric touching it's gonna create uh, some pass pass passage to the air and this is not good okay so make sure you have no long sleeves and you are not wearing any sharp rings or watches because this can also damage the, the sleeve uh, in my case i keep my wedding ring so i don't lose it again so once you have both arms in you're just gonna gently place your arm to the left side of the sleeve and the right side is gonna be the same uh, you're gonna gently press to the right and now we are ready to start the the sleeve cycle and in order to do that you're gonna press once the foot the foot pedal so once you press that the the cycle should start what's gonna do is to take all the air out of this little environment here and then it's gonna inject with this little hose it's gonna inject um, nitrogen into this environment here okay so it's normal to feel some pressure negative pressure and it's important to keep your hand not very close to the to the door here or when when uh, it, it starts the negative pressure it's gonna compress your hand against the door so it's important to keep you know a, a little bit uh, far and don't be scared because it's a, a a weird feeling the first time you go in so it's gonna take all the air out and it's gonna inject nitrogen here and this way it's taking all the oxygen you know from this air that that is inside of the sleeve this is gonna be all replaced by by nitro nitrogen Alright, so now I'm gonna show you how to go in into the chamber. I took the sleeves out so we can see better. This is what they call the arm port door. So it is firmly tight, okay, it's air sealed as you can see. And what you're gonna have to do is to turn this latch on the uh, counter clock uh, wise and what that's gonna do is it's gonna release this bigger bar here and then you can push it in the the upper part first and then the lower part and here we're gonna securely store this door in this door holder over here Now, by the time you have to place the door back, you're gonna take it out, holding always by the bar, not by the latch. And the small detail here is that we need to place the lower part first. And it's gonna nicely fit there. So the lower part first and then the upper. And then you're gonna turn the bar to secure that and as you can see here it 
it's kind of loose so now we're gonna tie it that with the, the latch and one small detail here is that we don't need strong people operating this machine so you, you cannot tie it that very uh, strongly or you're gonna damage that okay so it's just like fist um, strength it's that that's good you give it a little wiggle to make sure it's not uh, loose if you find something like that it's not good there is air coming in but here you just have to tight uh, a bit and this should be good to go for the left door it's the same principle but you're gonna see that the the bar is gonna turn to the other side of the latch so one goes count to open you're gonna turn it counterwise uh, clockwise and here is in the other direction and one the other important thing is to open one door at a time so you go first with the right and then with the left or vice versa so you're just gonna place the door there and by the time you are finished come out Placing the lower part first, locking the bar, and here is a bit tricky to to close because you know if you turn everything, then the 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 bar will turn along. So just make sure you secure the bar, tie that, make sure nowhere is coming in, and that's perfect. Another detail here, uh, when you're gonna notice that when you have both hands in the sleeves, this, the, the pressure of the system is quite stable, okay? So if you, if you insert your two hands together at the same time, you're gonna see it in the manometer over there that the pressure is gonna increase, see, quite significantly. And what it does is to keep the inside pressure uh, stable, it's gonna put some air out and it's gonna in inject more 
of the anaerobic mixture inside of the chamber. So what we are doing here, doing um, abrupt movements and inserting your both arms at the same time, you are just increasing a lot the consumption of gas. <clears throat> okay, so make sure you do slow movements and also when you insert one hand, let's say you want to get something from the shelf and you insert one hand, make sure you pull the other hand out so that the system, the pressure stays constant and as you bring your arm back out, the other arm goes in. If you cannot work because of too much pressure is pushing your arms out, what you're gonna do is to hit the pedal once. That's gonna start the sleeve cycle. It's gonna take all the air out, or it's gonna at least take some air out and relieve the pressure a bit. And then you hit it again to interrupt the cycle. <clears throat> 